Hey, what's up everybody, Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create the vertigo stretch effect. So basically what we have is this footage here, which is just some, some footage going backwards. And we're gonna be turning it into this sort of footage, which is footage that creates this vertigo effect. So you can see that this is very plain linear motion right here, it's just you know a camera panning backwards. Well, this one, it feels like two things are being stretched and that's what the vertigo effect is. It's when a physical camera moves backwards or forwards in space and the zoom goes the opposite direction. So if we're pulling away from the main subject or the main area, if we're going backwards, then we zoom in. If we're going forwards, we zoom out and it creates this vertigo effect. It creates this because of the fact that we're creating these opposite motions and the depth of field changes as well. It's best captured within the camera. However, you can recreate it in Premiere Pro. It isn't gonna be 100%, but it still looks pretty close and you can still get some of that those effects with it. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Let's get started. First thing we need to do is just drag in our piece of footage. So I just got this piece right here of this uh, drone sort of be going backwards over a beach. And what you wanna do is you wanna kinda trim this down to fit the effect. I'm gonna go with right around four seconds. Um, and I'm gonna create the effect sort of in this four second range and then we can edit it a little bit later to see what works best. And it's kinda gonna be dictated by how fast the camera is moving and you wanna match the scale to that. So that what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go up here we're gonna click on the piece of footage, go up here, and then to the scale button. We're gonna to toggle that on, and then move forward to our four seconds. We're then going to zoom this in, to sort of match the movement backwards. Now, we don't really wanna go over 150. It's just a little bit over is okay, but if you'll see, the higher we go, the more blurry this is gonna look. This is a great time if you have 4K footage to bring in the 4K footage and then edit this in a 1080p sequence. That'll give you a whole lot more wiggle room to work with and you'll get a whole lot better of an effect. So what we're gonna do right here is we want to take this and we wanna see if the motion is working right here. So you can see that the vertigo effect is being created right here. As it's moving backwards, we're zooming in. However, moving backwards is sort of taking over just a little bit. So maybe we wanna make this just a little bit shorter to sort of give this a little bit more of a strong zoom effect. And now you can see it's a little bit closer. The, the ground isn't, we aren't like panning backwards as much as we are zooming. We wanna sort of get those in equilibrium. And as you'll notice, we could, we can do this through two methods. We can increase the scale to do this or we can decrease the time it takes because the less time it takes, the more, the faster it has to go from 100 to 155. However, if you go with the scaling greater, you're going to lose more and more quality. So sometimes you have to be dictated by that and you need to make a shorter sort of vertigo effect. You have 4K footage, again, you'll have a lot more room to work with. So now we've got the basics of the effect looking pretty good right here. So let's kind of go to the edge right here and just trim it off right like so. And so now we have this neat vertigo happening. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to adjust the position. If you'll notice, the camera feels like it's going like this. It's going backwards and then sort of going to the left. What we're gonna do is we wanna make it feel like it's going directly backwards. So the best thing we can do is we can find a point in here and then we can try to match the position over time. The good thing about us scaling in is that we actually have some wiggle room to work in the position. So if we move forward, we can sort of, I'm gonna use the left side of this lake here. And you can see it sort of starts right here. And then as we move, it goes off to the edge just a little bit. So what we're gonna do is we wanna go to that very end keyframe. We can jump there and we wanna move this back towards the left a little. And now play it again. And now you can see that the lake is staying relative relatively in the exact same place. So even though we're going backwards, the lake is getting bigger in place. And that's the sort of vertigo that we want to create. Now the next thing I like to do, and this is sort of like a, a final little touch, is try to recreate that compression. So we can create this zoom effect and it almost looks perfect. But the problem is, is that whenever you zoom a lens in, the basically the way the light works is that it compresses everything together. It makes it look like everything is on the same plane versus, you know, really 3D, like it's, there's something here and something way back there in the distance. It makes it look like it's almost all right together. And so what I like to do is I like to add the basic 3D on here. What that does is it allows me to put, basically do a little bit of a tilt towards the camera as we do it. And you'll notice whenever we tilt it, we actually sort of manipulate the positioning just a little bit. We almost create that effect because it sort of brings the background closer to the, to the center and it does the same with this. So it makes it look like we're actually bringing those elements together. And so what I wanted, I like to do is I go to the tilt right here and then I move to the very end so we can use this jump keyframe right here to the very end and I just tilt it towards us 
just a little bit. And you can see that's sort of away from us. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go sort of in the positives here, maybe right around to just 19, 20, 20-ish, right there. And what that's gonna do is it's going to add just a little bit of that compression back in. It's gonna make things feel like they're just a little bit closer to one another. And you can see that is basically the effect. This is what we have created through just a couple of effects. We've taken it from this basic piece of footage, which was just this, this dolly shot going backwards, and we've created this sort of vertigo effect. And you can do that with really anything that you want, as long as you have this constant motion going backwards. The, the more stable of footage, the better it'll work, but overall, this is the basics of the effect. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below or on our website, adobemasters.net. If you want to see my videos similar to this one, go ahead and sub subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.